I'm going to tack on to the end of this video that these caps are bad. This is this is a brand new .0015 and we can see, see how that opens nice and full and we're up at not to say the cap tester's on, that's why I'm using the new cap as a benchmark, but we're up about .002, you can see that there. Let me throw one of these, throw one of these fried disc caps in here. And, hold on. Okay, so I got the cracked cap in there, and it's the same value, and I'm going to rotate the knob here. And you'll see it comes in a little lower, and no matter what I do, I cannot get a clear eye. Yeah, let me put one of the other ones in. Okay, this one looks better. Uh, I can get a full eye. It's a little low. This one, this one looks okay too, but this one here, that one is definitely torched. But you know what? I think all of them except this one need to be changed. Where am I going to get 4.0015 at 2 kilovolt caps? wonder if Mauser has these. I've had the TV on for about 30 minutes with a signal. Still seems to want to cut off without the signal you can see as the scene brightness changes this is the this is the over voltage input to that chip which should ideally probably be zero volts this is on the back side of that zener diode and this is with my um, I forget what values these are. I know this is a 472, and that guy's cooking hot, too. I think the reason why they parallel four of them instead of using one of the total value is that the amount of current that's flowing through these uh, could not be handled by one cap. The, the internal resistance is probably too great. Let me total up what I got here. Okay, what I have in there currently, the three blue caps equals .0084. And what the factory had in there, the four orange caps equal, should equal .0063. So I'm .0021 over. And I got a... I guess I could pull that 222 out of there and see. See if I, yeah, if I pull that, if I pulled that 0022 out of there and just left the 47 and the 15, I guess I could see if the TV keeps running. Let me do that. Yeah, I pull, I lift one capacitor and it goes, it just skyrockets. Maybe. Maybe it needs four capacitors in parallel. Maybe it has to have that. Okay, I believe I have the fix here. And this is interesting. Um, I look like an idiot, at least to myself. I have the four, four caps back in here of the correct value. This, so I have one, two, three, four. And this one here, one lead is not touching. Once it gets up to 500 millivolts, the TV will cut off. This is on the back side of that Zener diode. Okay. 
this is the capacitor that tested bad that tested kind of fuzzy and weak is that thing really getting that hot anyway I'm gonna bridge this capacitor with that one and watch the meter that's disconnected So, this is the fix, was the capacitors, and it requires four capacitors of, it requires all four capacitors in parallel of .0015, not two 0.0030s or 1.0068. It needs all four of them. Uh, that that uh, that's interesting. I I know there's a scientific explanation. I'm not sure what it is. I'll have to research it. But this capacitor, which is smoking hot. This capacitor is like 270 degrees. These ones down here are like 150. That's the excessive series resistance in this cap. So this cap is the problem right here. This cap is the fix. But still, I think uh, to do it right is to replace all four of them. Now I pulled that out and um, put the good use 0.0015 out of the Sony in there and I'm sitting right at four millivolts so this this is great I can vary the brightness I'm gonna call this a fix the uh, problem was was this